One of the effects of large volcanic eruptions that put a lot of sulfate aerosols up in the stratosphere is whitening of the skies. And this was seen after the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo. So uh, a proposed side effect of geoengineering, as described by Alan Roebuck, um, is that if one were to purposefully put uh, sulfate aerosols up in the stratosphere to, for geoengineering to cool the planet, you might see a similar effect. So we used a model to test this theory, and we tried a bunch of different aerosol sizes, so small being about 0.1 microns, up to large being about 0.9 microns, and we came up with two major conclusions. One, that the diffuse sky would be brighter, and one, that it would be whiter. So in terms of brighter, uh, if you add sulfate aerosols into the stratosphere, sulfate aerosols tend to forward scatter a lot more of the light than they backscatter, and so you, although you may reduce total irradiance by 2%, you reduce direct irradiance by up to 20% in our simulations, and you fill the balance with diffuse light. So diffuse light increases by three to five times. And so uh, the sky, in that sense, the skies would become brighter. And uh, the, as it turns out, this is highly dependent upon the size of the particles as is sky whitening. So um, the aerosol size distribution very heavily determines how white the skies will get. And um, so small particles tend not to change the sky color too much. Particles in the middle of our range tend to forward scatter a lot more red light than they do blue light. And so uh, that would actually whiten the sky a considerable amount. And larger particles tend to uh, minimize that effect. They tend to forward scatter a lot more blue light than red light. So we came up with three major conclusions um, if, uh, for if you wanted to minimize the amount of sky whitening. Number one, if you wanted to minimize sky whitening, you could use larger particles, which tend to forward scatter a lot more blue light than red light. The problem with that is they're less efficient at scattering as a whole, so you need more of them. And they also fall out more quickly, so you need more of them. Uh, second option is that you could use particles that tend to backscatter a lot more. That sort of disqualifies sulfate aerosols because sulfate tends to forward scatter most of its light. Or number three, you could limit the amount of geoengineering. Mm -hmm.